Welcome back to M Hood Fishing. I'm in the Anchorage. I have that familiar hum to keep me company the whole time because we have a stacked up Anchorage here. Look at this. Several ships here. This is almost four o'clock in the afternoon, early March. Let's see what I can do. The Mississippi right here where I'm at, according to my closest flood gauge stage, which is up at Carrollton, it's just below seven, right? And it's doing a bunch of stuff coming up and down, but only by little increments. But that current is strong right here where we're at. You can see it if you study it and watch. It is kind of strong. So we're using four ounces of lead and we're going to go with smaller baits on a five aught. Each rig is about the same. I've got two 10 foot Daiwa beef sticks down here with 80 pound braid on them probably will catch something i'm curious about sizes i would like to bang into something massive we're, we're using fresh bait today it was caught not too long ago fresh bluegill is what this is all right my second bait out straight in front of me first one's already trucking a little bit you can see, look at the tension on that rod, just from the current. This has been a really good spot over the years, but it's not without its problems, right? We're in an anchorage. There are snags. This one's not as bad. If I go a little further down, it does get worse. And there's a, there's a little bit of an area up river from here that's not bad for snags either, but they are, they do exist. And when there's a lot of current, like right now, there's a good chance of getting swept into them. I'm gonna get swept into this chair right now. I did not actually put those baits out as far as I could have. Keeping them kinda close in, but not like ultra close. We're getting to that period of the year where the big cats, and just about all the cats are gonna come up really close to feed. We're not quite there yet, but we're gonna get there eventually at some point. If not in March, it'll be in April, but it'll trickle in. We should be able to get something. I feel like I'm about to get a snag because my second bait has really drifted. That's the issue with spot sometimes when the current is strong and the river is coming up and down it wasn't doing this the other day it pretty much changed recently so i put it straight out in front of me and now it's all the way over here it seems to have stopped drifting there is a a great possibility of catching a snag right out where it's at though could catch a fish though yeah, but I just don't feel good about it. Let's see if we can get this in and replace it. Oh, that's much better. I expect this to be slow. Water's kind of dirty. Whenever the river's erratic, you know, the level going up and down, it can be dirty. Well, it's cold still. Early March isn't the only reason why this is gonna be slow this afternoon. I'm here early in the day. Like I said, it's just around four o'clock right now. Not really prime time feeding. Sunset is around seven. So we just sit here long enough, bound to do something. But yeah, the river is not warm enough to trigger that spring catfish feeding behavior that pre-spawn feed up behavior but we're getting there the river's been up already this year was unable to come to this very spot because the river was over it not by much but maybe a couple of feet and yeah i guess while i'm waiting let's take a look around to see what the river brought up into this spot Normally you can tell where the river came up. 
where it about stopped. You can see, all right? See, there's nothing here. And then there's a bunch here, right in front of me. So this is kind of an idea. It gives you an idea of where the river came up, how high it came up. And there's where my rods are over there. And if it floats, it gets up here. This is something that I keep kind of hidden at this spot. It's my fire safety bucket. I'm glad I found it. I usually have it there. I don't know why. I guess weather knocked it out. Looks like it came up pretty high. Pushed stuff all the way up into this thicket area here. It's usually garbage, right? Wood and garbage driftwood and garbage sometimes you find something interesting sometimes it's an absurd amount of garbage it's not just coming from louisiana it's coming down river from everywhere up river i was really just curious to come see what this spot looks like i didn't expect to bang into anything big right off the bat i expected what i expected maybe a couple hours of nothing. I think once all these willows in here in this area are starting to bud out, there'll be big fish in front of here. That's not much longer. But in the meantime, there's something nice about just sitting on the river watching the ships come and go and listening to this hum. Kind of like something in between Twin Peaks and Eraserhead. Same director though, David Lynch. Yeah, if it wasn't for the ambience out here, this would be a hard boredom to put up with. Everything's been out an hour, and I think it is time to check everything, but, oh. This one was in a snag, and I think something just clipped my line. Oh, 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 hello, hello, hello. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you gonna, are you serious? Come on. Let's see if this fish is serious because kind of developing a slack line here. Yes. Oh, I was at that point where I get a lot this time of year, this time in March, right? Where I'm like, ah, it's not gonna happen. I got other things going, other things I got to go do. And I was considering just getting on those things early. Yeah, I was thinking it's not gonna happen tonight, which yeah, there is always a possibility of that this time of year. But you know, it's like, it's real close to that time of year where the possibility is gonna be really good for something to happen i'm gonna go over here well this it's been a very tedious very slow session and this is not what i'm here for not this size anyway get them up here look at that coming up channel cat just like the other night Whoa! It's coming off Channel Cat too. Yeah, you're right. It is 15 to 6 now. Time to get back to that decision. Might as well give it another 15 to 30 minutes. Fish both rods out. See if we can pull up another Channel Cat. Maybe something even better. Current is still pretty strong. I'm gonna go ahead and put this up river so it doesn't drift where the other bait is or into a bad area. I just brought the uh, other bait in. This is something you should expect this time of year when the river starts to come up. 
lots of dead grass in the water catching your line it can cause issues at times look at what I found earlier this is part of the root ball right so that was underground like that I'm assuming that's what I'm guessing looks like a weird walking stick I'm just assuming maybe it's not part of the root ball that is really interesting more interesting things oh, oh hello hello oh maybe you're serious yes you are we're like at that tail end of that 30 minutes I said that 30 minutes I promised it's usually I don't like jetting right after I catch the first fish on one of these slow sessions but <laughs> This is not the first fish. <laughs> this is the second one. It's feeling a little better than that first one. Maybe it's not a channel cat. Oh, holding pretty good right there. It's definitely after six. I knew if I just waited long enough that something would happen well it's been really tedious <laughs> not easy it's just sitting here watching nothing but here we go we got number two coming up not sure what kind of quality this fish is he's giving me a nice fight he's he's in that current right now too so that has a lot to do with it He's not too far out in front of us, but still being stubborn. Fighting right there, shaking my rod tip. There he is. Definitely not a giant. I think that might be a blue cat. Yeah, we got a blue cat this time not big maybe, maybe definitely a little around the 10 pound range maybe want to open up for me come on come on be nice there you go no he says he says no 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 come on man There we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're right. Maybe 10 pounds. Look at the belly. Look at that belly. Wow. They can only get bigger, right? Nah, not, they could get smaller, too. Somebody was ready. See you later, buddy. Come on, number three. You didn't see that, but I did out of the corner of my eye. Maybe number three just wanted to get me excited and run. We call that dong and ditch or something. Ding dong ditch. I was looking down the trail and I heard a woman's voice. And then I got ding dong ditched over here. <laughs> I'm going to ding dong ditch myself. Well, I'm not ringing anyone's bell, but I am getting out of here. Hey, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.